Right, here we go. The solutions to paper one. First question, fractions. Six take away two makes four. And then deal with the fractions. Okay. Five and three makes a new bottom number of 15. The new top numbers are three and five. Now, because you can't do three take away five, then we need to borrow from the four, and that makes three. This makes 18 take away 5 over 15. So your answer is 3 and 13 over 15. Some people may have turned it top heavy, in which case you'd have 31 over 5 minus 7 over 3, giving you 15 as the bottom number, 93 take away 35, which gives you 58 over 15. 15 goes in there three times, 13 left over, same answer. Question 2. 11 minus 2 brackets so on, so remove the bracket, so 11 minus 2 times 1 minus 2 times 3x is less than 39. Keep the minus 6x here, take the 11 over, take the negative 2 over, you get minus 6x is less than 30, which gives us x change the direction because of the negative, and 6 goes in there negative 5 times. Question 3, one of these circle questions with all the angles that we need to put in. Well, we know that this is a diameter, so these are semicircles, so that's a right angle there. So if that's 64, then that must be 26. We also know that this is a right angle, so if that's 17, then that must, sorry, 77, that must be 13, which means that must be 13. Those two 13s make 26, so this angle here must be 154. That's 154, then that one there's 26. In fact, I've done enough for the question because the question is asking you to find the size of angle BDF, which is that angle at the top there, and we know it's 13 degrees. Question 4, that's easy, easy. X times X squared, X times X, X times negative 2, negative 4 times X squared, negative 4 times X, negative 4 times negative 2, Gather it all together, you've got an x cubed. x squared minus 4x squared is minus 3x squared. Minus 2x minus 4x is minus 6x. And then you add 8. Question 5. Find the standard deviation. First of all, if we add these numbers together, we get 15. Divide that by 5 gives us the mean is 3. And if we set up our little table for x and x bar, x numbers are 1, 2, 2, 2 and 8. The mean is 3. Then we do the subtraction. Minus 2, minus 1, minus 1, minus 1 and 5. Then we do the squaring. Giving us 4, 1, 1, 1 and 25. Standard deviation is where you add these numbers up. 4, 5, 6, 7, and 25 is 32. It's the square root of 32 divided by 1 less than the numbers you had, which is 4, which gives us the square root of 8. So the answer is the value of A is 8. Question 5. This is a y equals A sine Bx. The A number is the amplitude and it's 4 in this case. B is the number of waves, and there's 1, 2, 3 waves, so the answer for B is 3. Question 7. Y equals X add A, all squared add B. Well, we know that the X coordinate is 2, so that must have come from x minus 2 in the brackets. The b is how far down the graph's moved 
4. So your answers are that A must be negative 2 and B must be negative 4. For the line of symmetry that goes down there, X equals 2. Question 7. Find the straight line between these points. So find the gradient first of all. 15 take away 5 over 3 take away negative 2. 10 over 5, which is 2. Then use y minus b equals mx minus a. y minus 5 equals 2 bracket x add 2. Tidying that up gives us y minus 2x equals 9. Now these questions are all about costs. So if we draw the cost curve, looks like that. Cost 90 is this point here. Cost 100 is roughly this point here. Because this is 270, cost 300 is going to be roughly this point here. So in other words, one of the points is negative, one of the points is zero, and one of the points is positive. So in order, cost 100 is smallest, cost 90 is in the middle, and cost 300 is the biggest. There's other ways to do it, but that shows on a graph how, what you do. Question 10. If we take the 10 numbers and write them in order, and we write them in this fashion here, where we go from small to big, then it's easy to pick out what we need. The median is this number here. Now halfway between 18 and 21 is 19.5. The lower quartile is the middle number on the top. The higher one is the middle number on the bottom. So the semi-interquartile range is 26 minus 17 divided by 2, which is 9 divided by 2, which is 4.5. Then for the second part of the question, our two valid uh, statements. The second median was 19, so you would say that on average, the second round had higher scores. Now the semi interquartile range was 2.5. How does that compare to the one that we found? It was 4.5. So you would also say that the spread of scores was greater in the first round. Or lower in the second round, whichever way you want to see it. Or was more consistent in the second round. Anything like that. Question 11. Okay, let's get rid of the y's. So I'm going to times that by 5, that by 2. So 15x plus 10y equals 85. 4x plus 10y is equal to 8. Big subtraction. 15x take away 4x is 11x, they cancel out. 85 take away 8 is 77. 11 watts makes 77, 11 sevens. So if x is 7, substitute that back into the first one, you have 21 plus 2y is 17. So 2y is negative 4, so y must be negative 2. Question 12, factorise the top, common factor. Factorise the bottom in a pair of brackets. Must be plus 5 and minus 4. Cancel out the brackets that are the same. Leaves you with an answer of x over x add 5. Question 13. Rationalise the denominator. How do we do that? We multiply the top and bottom by root 8. So the top becomes 4 root 8. The bottom becomes 8. Now we can simplify this a little bit further because the 
4 over 8 can become a half, and the root 8 can become root 4 times root 2. Root 4 is equal to 2, and 1 times 2 is 2, so the top becomes 2 root 2 over 2. The 2's would cancel, just to give you root 2 as your final answer. And then lastly, number 14, it's a fractional power, so it's going to involve a root sign. The 3 is on the bottom, so it goes inside the little tick. The 5 is the power on the top, so it stays on the top. The cube root of 8 is 2, and 2 to the power 5 is 32. And that's the end of the paper 1. Let me add a wee extra to this question. The question wanted you to work out the size of angle B, D, F. So I wanted this whole angle here. So the whole angle for PDF should have been 39 degrees.